Yo. Can you hear me? Jonathan. Can you hear me? Yo. Can you hear me? Damn, this is not working. Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? What the fuck? Can you hear me now? That shit's recording, bro. Oh, that's good. Oh, no one. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Oh. Yo, can you guys hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Why is it doing that? Yeah, Ivan, I can hear you now. You can yep. hear me now? I don't know why he's repeating what I'm saying, though. I had my headphones plugged in. Just <laughs> lying it down yeah, here. Hold up. Bro, I don't know. 
Hey, who else is on here? Karen again. Karen again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me figure this out. I see Karen's here, Miguel, K. What up, guys? Hello. So we're gonna start this. Hold on, let me mute everybody. I just want you guys to, uh, in the comment box, if you guys have any questions, put it right there on the comment box. And if you guys can hear me, just give a thumbs up because we're we're about to start. Hello. Okay. I'm not sure you guys can hear me. Okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Control room. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Hi, uh, Karen. Can you have a real quick? Okay. Can you get it done? done? Are you guys serious? All right, cool. So let's start. Um, I don't know how to start this. Okay. Jonathan. Yeah. I guess yeah, we can hear me, right? Like introducing each other. I'm Jonathan Bill. Oh, okay. Hi. What's going on, guys? My name is Ivan. Um, I don't know if you guys know me or not. I've been with, with MCA for about um one year and a half, and it's just been a blessing. It's been it's been a ble it's been a blessing, and uh, you know I'm just really excited because uh, we're gonna start doing these Google Hangouts more often. Me and Jonathan, we just really wanna get the whole team, you know, going. We wanna, we wanna show you guys that you know possibilities and that you know you guys are not alone. It's not you know you just sign up and then you know you don't have you don't know any like have no idea what to do or what not. And uh, to be honest with you guys, it, it all depends on the training. As long as you guys are following the trainings that are given to you, you guys are going to do great. And that's I'm talking about you know like for um for experience and I'm pretty sure you know Jonathan could talk about you know for experience because we know um. We came from a group that you know is has completely no type of support, and uh, you know we didn't want to do that with this team, right? So what we're trying to do, you know, we're just trying to get you guys, you know, going strong. And um, so pretty much, you know, when you guys start MCA, the main problem that people do is, you know, they go all over, all over Facebook, they go all over, you know, um, all these platforms, and they talk about MCA, 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 MCA. And at the end of the day, what you're doing, you're burning your warm market. Okay, when you when you join MCA and you start talking about how much money you already make, you're already doing something wrong because at the end of the day, people know for a fact that you just got started and you haven't made any type of money. So what you want to do is just be realistic and be real with people. Leverage your team, leverage the team training that you have that, that, that you have, leverage you know the people that you're working with. You know, let them know that you know you're working with a person that you know is really supporting you every single step of the way. And um, but I mean the best uh, the best key to give you guys, you know, when it comes to getting started, you know, as as, as far as taking notes, you know, on the trainings and everything, is just really um, stay consistent. You know, if you stay consistent in a single in in everyday basis, you're gonna get the results that you're looking for. And I'm not talking about you know always money flashing or you know talking about how this is changing your life. I'm talking about like showing people you know possibilities of what you're doing. How how much have you grown with the company? How much have you learned about the company? If you don't start selling the services to people, that's why you're gonna have quitters. 
Okay, you need to know about the services with the company, which is 24/7 roster assistance, uh, law law benefits. I mean, it's just many benefits. You know, 150 thousand dollars worth of benefits. And you don't, if you don't start learning this, people is gonna think that you're trying to scam scam them. With, you know, with a 40 dollar. Okay, they don't understand why they're paying 40 dollars to begin with. So what you really need to make sure is that people really understand why are they paying the 40 dollars for. So you don't have any type of quitters. You know what I mean? So when it comes to talking to people, and um, right now what I want you guys to do in your, uh, hold on, give me a second, let me put the question, okay, in the chat, great. So when it comes to, uh, you know, talking to people, you know, um, I want you guys to put in the comment, you know, what is that you think that you need more help on, and once I see the questions, you know, I just answer them for you, and if not, you know, Jonathan can help me out as well. So just go ahead and start asking questions right there on the comment box so we could get this going. Okay, so how to close a sale. It's pretty simple, man. To be honest with you, the first thing to do is that you, you got to generate traffic. And the way that you generate traffic, you... Um, you either make a video, you know, talking about MCA. This is this is key, guys. If you make a video of why you join the company, people are gonna wanna hear your story because people like to see when people, you know, talks about, you know, how great the company has been for them. So how to really close a sale is really simple. You just gotta be confident. You gotta have posture, okay? So the main question, you know, when people they ask, you know, they're like, okay, so how does it work? Okay, the main thing that you wanna do at first, you wanna take control of the whole conversation. And by taking control of the whole conversation, I mean that when people ask you a question, do not answer that question. If they say, you know, how does it work, or I need more info, or, um, or you know, is this a scam? If they ask you, this is a scam, you can just simply say, um, you can just simply say, it's a, nah, this is not, were you looking for that? So when you tell them that, they're going to be like, well, no, I'm not looking for a scam, right? So now you already put that, you know, to the side that this is not a scam. Now when it comes to closing the sale, you got to take authority in your conversation. So when someone asks you, like I say, you know, um, how does it work? You know, how did I get started? Or, you know, like simple questions like that. What you want to say is good evening. You know, you got to give them like a good evening. How are you? Okay? When people see that, they're going to be like, oh, shit, you know, like this guy's like, you know he's 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 uh he's being you know nice he's being uh, he's not just sending me right away to a website. What you wanna do is build a whole wrapper, and we, what you do is is really simple. You have to be yourself. When they ask you that, what's up? I said you gotta be yourself. You just gotta talk to him like you talk to everybody else on a regular day basis. Exactly. So what you yeah. wanna do is you know you just build a whole relationship by like having a conversation. So when they ask you that, you know, how are you, how you been, so they're, they're going to start asking you, right, okay, well, you know, I've been good. They're going to start telling you about their problems. And the main problem that a lot of people don't know how to close a sale is because you sound so sketchy that you just want to get a quick sign-up. When you show people interest on their problem and when you become their solution, people want to hear what you're doing. Okay, so when people want to hear what you're doing, you already have them right here. So how to really close the sale? So you go, you know, good evening, and I'm gonna write it down here. How would I close a, a sale? So how does it work? Hold on, guys. Give me a second because my computer is being like really slow. I gotta get it to fix. <coughs> uh, One way I usually close my sales is I basically tell them, look, this opportunity is uh, forty bucks to start. Twenty dollars a month, and all you have to do is get one sale in one month, and that right there covers you for four months. That right there is a good closer. When people usually hear that, they're like, "Wow, this is actually a really good opportunity. Why should I just join?" So it's it's, it's basically like cut dry. I also do other things like call people every once in a while. There's scripts of the group I got. Uh, you want to break down the license fee? Um, yeah, sure. I don't, I don't mind. Um, the license fee, like, are you talking about the, the little uh, agreements that they have to sign up when they first join? Right? Where, like, uh, the different states, like, have different license agreements? 
Because, like, I'm from Michigan. I don't have to worry about the license fee, but here. Right. So I'm from Nevada. We do have to worry about the license fee. And I'll hold a little, little finish, you know, when it comes with the closing. So, you know, once they, they start telling you about their problem, um, you know, you just tell them, you know, like, uh, you just try to give them a solution, you know, just be yourself, like, like you know, like Jonathan say. And I'm pretty much after, you know, just, just tell them, you know, like, look, you know, check out my website, you know, it has all the details, you know, and let me know what you're done. Or, you know, like, just, just, just put a little bit, you know, of your own flow to it. So when people, you know, they go through your website, and this is why it's key to have a website. And um, Karen, you could unmute yourself, because I want to... I mean, the training was especially for you, so... Yeah, it's it's very important to get people to your website so they can watch your videos. And uh, once they watch the videos, they get a better understanding of what the company is all about, you know. Exactly. What you The least thing you want to do is, you know, you spend your whole entire day, you know, um, talking to them about the whole, you know, um, the whole like the whole company about it, you know, that's why you have a website and literally your website does over like 90% of your job, you know, especially once you already build that rapport with the person, once you already build that relationship, your website really does everything for you. So that's why you have to have, you know, like a really nice website that really explains everything, breaks down everything, it's not boring, you know, it's catchy. And what I mean by it's catchy is that when people go through your website, the main thing they do is that they only go through it, they scroll down to it, and if they don't like what they see, they just get away from it. They, they, just, they just right away get, a, get out from it, right? So what you want to do when, when saying, you know, a catchy website, something that's going to catch your attention, is that you want their people to actually read what is in your website or watch the videos that are on your website. So that's why, you, you know, you just got to make it, like, like really, you know, um, that it shows, you know, that, like, it's, it's simple, it's not too difficult, it's not too much reading, but it's, you know, it has all the information that they need. Now, when it comes to the license, for my understanding, and this is I know for for experience, I'm from Nevada. I have I had to pay over um what two hundred dollars for the license, but I used it with my profit money. So once you send out the TBC agreement, the W nine uh, form, and the direct deposit form, you have from two to three months gap for you to turn that uh, that license that uh, that the license, and you know you uh, and they they don't hold your commissions. So right now, what you need to focus on is getting people using that money that you use for you that, that that you got them for profit, not out of pocket. You know to pay for that license fee. Now another way that you could do it is that if you if you go through your um TBC um TBC metrics uh website, there's a lot of um states that they don't need license. So what you could do is that if you have any family in any states that they don't need a license, you could just go NCA. Let them know that you thought it was a scam, and that you know now that you know that it's real, that you want to put your, your your real website, you know, in another state that they don't need a license. That's how I did it. That's why I don't um, that's why I, I didn't need a, a a license because I'm supposedly staying in Chicago, and you know, to, with, with the company. So when it comes to the license, that's the, that's what it is. But it's over. If it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like. Is that you know you if you give them a call you know and they know how how people are really skeptical with the company, mm -hmm. so when you tell them oh well I just put a fake address because I didn't think this was real, then they're gonna be like oh okay you know they're not even gonna ask you for questions or nothing. But what I'm saying is that if you have anybody in in another state that they don't that they don't need a license, because that's where they're gonna start sending uh, you know the the paperwork the 1099 or you know their uh, your membership card or whatever. But like I said, you have between two to three month gap. For you to turn in your papers, and as long as you file your W9 form, your 2BC agreement, and your um, direct deposit, then you have between two to three months gap to uh, file those. Hey, um, hey, uh, we were talking about how to close. Yeah. My 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 best closing tip that I have, that I use personally, and it has worked for over 450 people that I have brought to this company. I always ask them. In a scale of one to ten, how serious do you see yourself doing this? When you ask them how serious, they feel that you're like not attacking them, but they take more control of their, you know, like of, of their mentality. If they're like, oh, I am serious, you know, they get defensive. They're like, man, I'm serious, you know, like why why wouldn't I be serious? So when you ask them, you know, in a scale of one to ten, so now you're you you asking them a question, a direct question of you know how serious they see themselves being part of the team 
or how serious they see their part, that their self being part, you know, of uh, of MCA, then they're gonna, you know, they're gonna tell you, you know, whether it's a five, whether it's an eight, whether it's a nine, whether it's a ten. If it's a ten, do not ask any more questions. They're ready to go. Send them your sign up link, get them started, and you know, move on. Okay, send them the training, and that's it. Okay, because okay. a lot of people, when it comes to when when they give you an a, a ten. A lot of people, what they do, they oversell the product. They oversell the product like, oh man, you're about to get rich and you're going to have so much money and you're going to get all this and you're going to get all that and you're going to love it. Like, dude, he already told you yes. You don't need to sell them anymore. Okay, so when you when you keep overselling them, you're pushing them away. Whether you see it or not, you're pushing them away and they're like, oh no, fuck that. Maybe, maybe I don't want to do this. You know, like, or like when you tell them, oh, you could make over $10,000 a month, you know, if you really push this. People don't even think, you know, ten thousand dollars a month. They're probably just making an extra two hundred dollars, you know, a week or two, an extra two hundred dollars a month to pay for their car note. So you don't ever want to tell them, you know, the price of how much they're gonna make, because you don't know how much is that they're gonna make. And if you want to tell them about the price, you gotta ask them first, you know, like how, you know, how much, how much money you wanna make in the company. Because a leader asks questions, and this is key. When you keep asking questions, people love that. People really love that. They're like, okay, you know, he's asking me a question. They feel that whole relationship. They feel that whole rapper, and it's just great for them, you know. Mm -hmm. So when it comes, you know, to closing, they say a ten. Now let's say that now they say, uh, you know, a five, a four, a three. This is not serious people. And whether you decide, I don't, I don't like to work with those type of people. I just don't, um, I just don't even reply to them because I know for a fact they didn't go through their website. I know for a fact they didn't read the information. I know for a fact that they're gonna ask me questions. And if I have to push them to get in in the company, I'm gonna have to push them to work. And I don't like to I don't like to be micromanaging anybody. Okay, so but this is up to you. You still wanna sign them up, that's you know, that's on you. But when they say, you know, three to five or you know, five, six, just ask them, you know, politely, be like, hey, did you even went to the website? They're gonna tell you, no, I didn't. And they're gonna be honest. Okay, hold up, I get to your question right now. So, you know, once once they tell you, you know, if they say, you know, I didn't go to the website, you know, blah, 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 then you'll be like, look, man, I take my time really serious, you know, and I don't I don't wa I don't wanna sound rude or nothing, but you know, I don't wanna waste my time or yours. So please go to the website, read the information, and then you know from there we could talk and I could answer your questions after you're done watching the website. Okay? Okay. So once 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 they know once once they do that you know they go to the website and most of the people once they actually go to the website they're gonna be like okay now I get it and they're gonna tell you you know maybe I don't have the 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 money I don't have the time or they're gonna tell you they're gonna put so many excuses so now what you want to do when it comes to closing is finding a solution to their problem if they tell you I don't have the money then just be like this is the reason why you should be in this company because right now you're probably struggling with bills. Right now you're probably struggling, you know, with for food. And you know, if you if you really think about it, like Jonathan said, you get one person a day, just one person a day. See, this is the problem. A lot of people they focus on getting 15, 20, 30 people, you know, a week. Yep, but you if have you to really be really not everybody's a sign up either, you know. Exactly. There's gonna be people, yeah, it's not for everybody. It really isn't. But if you could convince them, good for you. You know, exactly. just it's, it's yeah, hundred percent. But if you if you start giving people you know possibilities, you know when they say I don't have the money, you know you tell them you know like this is the reason why you should be in it. And if they tell you I don't have time, then tell them you know like I work from home, and you know thanks to this opportunity, you know I've been able to have more time for myself. The main you know, reason, the main reason why I get signed up is I show people how I live, and when I show people how I live and what I drive and the type of money I make, you know, honestly, honestly they they want to join. You know, it's no, it's it's easy for closing when it comes to if you've got that lifestyle. Now, if you don't got that lifestyle, I mean, you just gotta show what you have. You know, just the little valuable things you got now, you just show it. Yeah, that helps. When you show people value, and this is this is a key. When you show people value, whether it, I mean, like he said, you know, like he shows lifestyle videos, and you know, I do too, you know, as well. And you know, but that's when you already have the lifestyle. But when you don't have the lifestyle, when you really, when you show that, that you're going to help them all the step of the way, 
people are going to want to do business with you because people will even know that you just started just by the way that you're talking to them. People will know, people oh, it's a new People don't just enjoy the company. They enjoy the person. Right? Exactly. That's, that's true. Exactly. 100%. 100%. Now, uh, so when, like I said, you know, when it comes to closing, just pretty much, you're going to scale 1 to 10, you know, how much, how serious do you see yourself doing this? You get a 10, you know, they're ready to go, send them a sign-up link. And now this is another key. When they're about to sign up, let them know what they're going to get. So by this, I'm saying, you know, let them know that they're going to have a training. Let them know that they're going to be part of a team. Let them know that, you know, they're going to be part of something unique that, you know, and, and other people, they, they don't offer them. Like, I, I get over 50 messages a day, no lie, from MCA members that they don't know what to do because they just join a person and they don't even have a training. So you guys should really feel blessed that we have so much support and that we have so much training to give you guys because we really do. You know, me and Jonathan, we're going to be working a little bit more together and really put in a whole, you know, probably a whole Instagram training, a whole YouTube training, a whole uh, more, more Facebook marketing tips, how to really post an ad on Craigslist, and that's another thing. I don't want you guys to just focus on Facebook. There is a lot of social media. Oh, yeah. Like Jonathan said that today, there's this, there is plenty of social media. Uh, this is not just people. There's like tons of them. Not just, don't just rely on Facebook. They're got, you got High Five. You got, uh, let's see, I got a whole list here. Just one second. I'll, uh, I'll name some of them for you guys. Uh, let's see here. All the ones that I'm in here. Uh, let's see. So yeah, guys. So um, like we say, you know, when it comes to closing, man, you know, you just gotta be confident and have posture, bro. bro like literally, like if you have posture, people are gonna be like, wow. You know, like this guy probably is not even hasn't been in the company for so long, but this guy knows what he's talking about. You know what I mean? When you really, when you really take control over the conversation, people wants to hear you. People don't even care about the problem anymore, or what they're, you know, what, what they were skeptical, skeptical or not. But like you know, Jonathan said, you know, not everybody's going to join. And what you really need to do with the people who are not ready, man, just move on. That's another, that's another key that I do. I don't focus on the people who are not ready. I focus on the people who are ready. And I'm gonna put a Karen from example. It took her, I think, what, over five months for you to sign up, Karen. I don't know she's still there, but I think it took her. I, I think I think it took her even like four, five, or five, five or four months to sign up. But I mean that's okay because people keep watching you, man. And when people see that you're getting results, people want the same results. You know, and some they won't probably join the spa, but you know they will join next week or probably a, a month from now. So every time you know that you have somebody interested, I mean the key is following up, man. If you're not following up, you're gonna lose a lot of sales. And I'm telling you this by experience because I used to not follow up with people. You know, people who, you know, they would tell me, oh, they're getting started on Friday. And, you know, Friday came and I wouldn't pay attention to them. So, you know, that's it. Does that, does that clear um, how... Uh, yeah, I just put all the social media sites in a, in a comment box for you guys. I had to look for them here because I couldn't think of all the names. Yeah, I think, you have, it, I think you have it on the team, though, right? Huh? You have it on the team? Yeah, I I, uh, I have it on the team, and I just posted it in the comments, too, so you guys can look at that. Yeah, so, yeah, just don't don't limit yourself to just one market. I mean, there's other things you could do, too, um, that I do to get traffic. Uh, one is Google Words. Uh, um, it's a really good campaign. Um, I spend, like, $50 a, a day. I mean, it's if you have the money, um, you get like quite a bit of traffic from there. Um, and what I do is I use keywords. Uh, the, the keywords that I use is uh, like best roadside assistance. So like whenever somebody looks up roadside assistance, my website will be one of the top uh, in Google. So that's that's one way I get sales. Uh, another another way I get sales is uh. I uh, market my website, um, and I usually make my websites either with Wibbly or uh, or Wix. Um, I prefer Wix a little over Wibbly uh, because uh, with uh, with Wibbly, 
Um, they, they, it goes against their viol uh, terms of violation with a uh, multi-level marketing program and stuff like that. But yeah, if you uh, if you make your program with Wix and you uh, promote it on like say uh, social uh, pay-to-click sites like NeoBucks, uh, ClickSense, and a bunch of other that that brings traffic to your site, and uh, sometimes people sign up through that too, just by like like I said, watching your videos. That's, yeah. that's why it's really that's why it's really important to have a really good website. When you bring people to your website, and they see that type of stuff that's on your website. I mean, the money money's easy. As you can see, I got a couple hundreds right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Jonathan been killing it for a while, you guys. I, yeah, I've been. I've been doing pretty good. <laughs> what we really want to show I'm you guys is these possibilities. You know, like that this is possible. You know, now. Nah, now you know just because we've been in it for so long, you know we're making the money. Now, guys, it's like it's really just about consistency and it's about pushing. You know, this is I always I always tell this to everybody. This is if you treat this as a business, it's gonna pay you as a business. If you treat this as you know something that is just a joke, it's gonna pay you as a joke. So what you wanna do, like really, is just be serious about it. And you know, you really gotta find out, you know, your why. And this is key. I mean, I don't know what's your why, my why are my parents. I don't know what's Jonathan's why, but it's like when you really have that why and you every single day you wake up and you know for a fact why you need to start getting these results, it's going to push you to do something better. You know what I mean? It's just about that mentality, and that's another thing that I would like to, you know, thank you for you two for being on the, on the, on the call. This is recording. You know, you guys could be just lazy and be like, oh, okay, you know, I just wait for the recording, you know. But you guys are here, so that shows you know that you're serious. So what you really need to like, what, you, what I really want to, you know, commend you to do, what start doing, is that every single day that you wake up, give yourself at least 20 minutes. Give yourself 20 minutes, you know, of of self development. Like really, because personal development is really that's what's really gonna like change your whole mentality. Because when you're talking to a person, if they don't if they, if you sound that like you, you know, yourself is, you know, frustrated or is not motivated or you're not talking about being positive or, you know, any of this. I'm going to go ahead and answer that question right there. Uh, when I first started MCA, I didn't have any flyers. I didn't have any business cards. I didn't have anything uh, for that matter. All I, all I did is I went to the dollar store and bought myself some uh, uh, sticky notes and put my website right on a sticky note and get around and post them on cars. And got my word out that way. So that's that's one thing you guys could do uh, for people who are starting out. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, the websites that we're talking about, though, they're free. Weebly and, and Wix, they're free websites. I mean, the only thing that I would encourage everybody to do is uh, how, to, how, to, how to get their own domain just to make it a little bit more professional, which is in GoDaddy, I think, like $10. Actually, you know, for the Dollar, oh, yeah. I think now, yeah. Yeah, if you get the promo it's, code, I think it's uh, domain.com for dollar uh, at GoDaddy. Yeah, as long as they have like the promo code. Yeah. And um, Karen, um, so I heard from a friend who has signed up a backup because he says something about taxes. Okay, so when it comes to the taxes, guys, and this is really important because this is a business. Okay, at the end of the year, this is we have what is called tax breaks, or you know, um, uh, tax uh. Or tax benefits. So what this is is that everything that it comes around your business, your light, your laptop, your um, even your um, your renting because you know you're using your home for your business is a tax write-off. If you go out to eat and you mention your business, it's a tax write-off. So what I want you to command you to is to start writing, saving all your receipts because at the end of the day, since we don't pay taxes right away, at the end of the year. The company wants to take up, uh, I mean, the IRS, not the company, the IRS wants to take um, up to 15% money that we have made, you know, within the whole year. Mm -hmm. But when you have those tax write offs, so let's say, let's say, you, for, for example, you owe the company, you, you owe the IRS, I don't know, $5,000, okay, because you make over $60,000, okay? So let's say you owe them $5,000. Now, what you want to do is that, let's say, you in all your receipts, in all your expenses, you know, probably they they owe you, you know, because like I said, tax write-off, and I, and I sent you a video with, when it comes to that, Karen, so you have more more understanding about it. 
but let's say they owe you, um, I don't know, $7,000 when it comes to those tax write-offs. So now the IRS has to pay you $2,000. Or let's say that, you know, um, with the tax write-off, you only accumulate it up to $4,000 and you owe $5,000, then you are going to have to pay them $1,000 because we don't get any taxes taken out of from our bank account or from our paycheck. And this is, this is a legit business, guys, so taxes shouldn't be a problem from anybody because, like I said, this is a legit business, okay? Um, any other questions? Yeah, that's one of the agreements. Uh, when you first joined, you have to fill out a 1099. Um, exactly. So at the end of the year, they give you a, uh, your tax reform at the end so you can file your own taxes. Yep, 100%. Because like we say, you know, this, this is a business. This is, we're working, we are working for a company. The company is in Oklahoma. So, we, you know, there, there are, you know, legal stuff. We're not getting paid under the table. We're getting paid direct deposit, you know, just like any other job probably we will be paying. We just get paid more, okay? And now when people ask you, you know, if this is a scam, and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm clarify this really quick for you guys. A scam for by the direct sales association, a scam means that there's not product and there is not, um, not service. Okay, if you join a company, a company that has no product to service, that is considered a pyramid scheme. That is a scam. You need to stay away from that. When you have a product to service that you offer, then this is not a scam because you have you are selling something and people are getting something back from their purchase. They are not paying you directly. So when people ask you, "Oh, how much am I paying you?" They're not paying you nothing. The company is giving you a commission you know, for your efforts. And the reason, and, I'm, and now, now let's talk about this. When people ask you, why do they pay you so much? Why do they pay 200% commission? What am I paying for? When they pay $40, they're paying two months of their membership. They're paying their first month and their last month. Okay, because there is not a cancellation fee, so that's how the company protects it. Now, why they pay you $80 is because the customer or the new associate is going to pay $20 a month. Okay? If you do the math, that is over $280, you know, a year, and the company pays a direct commission with $80. Now, to your question, Karen, what happened when someone backs out? This is what happened, this is what happened when someone backs out. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Okay, so when someone, when someone cancels, right, and this is why you got to focus on the people who are ready, and now you know someone that is just going to cancel next week because if they cancel you could probably get a chargeback now do not get scared for these called chargebacks this is part of business like I said and you know the company needs to make their money back now what they do is that as long as you bring five people five people a week in their business in your business you avoid all those chargebacks you will not get chargebacks now how does the chargebacks how, how the chargeback works they divide the eighty dollars within seventeen months, which is five dollars and something cents, and that is how much money they they take off of every single every two weeks of your bank account. I mean, of your of your future commission. Okay, so let's say if you stop doing the business right now, okay, you stop doing the business right now, and you already brought ten people, meaning that you make eight hundred dollars with the company. Okay, for example. And those and, and two people quit, right? And you're not doing the business anymore. You will not get a chargeback because you're not doing the business anymore yourself. They want they are not going to take the money out of your bank account. You know that is that is illegal. They won't they won't put their credibility like that. The the company been in business since 1926. Okay, so what they do is that once you have a, a future commission. And if you haven't got your five period, your, your five people a week, and you owe them, you know, probably you know one people cancel. You know, so that would be, that would be uh, either um, it really depends when they cancel. To be honest with you, it really depends when they cancel. If they cancel right away. Of course, they want to take that commission right away. But if they cancel, you know, probably four or five months after, then you know they only charge you like five dollars, three dollars, you know, for for cancellation fee. Okay. And if in a seven month period they cancel, then they don't charge you anything, you know. Mm hmm Exactly. It's like I mean and, and to be honest with you guys, when people talk about chargebacks, 
I don't get scared because you know we're we're here to make money, guys. You know we're here to make more more money than what we would be making at a job. We're here to make you know at least at least you know 500 bucks a week, at least. That that should be your aiming. That that's what you should be, you know, thinking of. I want. I need to. I, I'm gonna make five hundred dollars a week. You know, five hundred dollars a week. Let's do a math. That's six people in your business. Meaning that what you get no chargebacks. So when people tell you, oh, what about chargebacks? They're that's they they're thinking small. You don't wanna mess with those people. At least I don't. No. Now when people yeah. talk about you know like they they yeah. wanna push this yeah man like I'm, I don't have time for that like honestly God, yeah. I mean I well, mean, serious we, people serious people is gonna do exactly the same thing I do produce the same numbers exactly. I mean you want lazy people on your team exactly man it's like you know we I mean it's it's like every business you know it's like you have you like let's let, let's talk about like let's think about like a job yeah like you have the like workers, for example. Well, you don't want to hire somebody that's not going to do McDonald's job or flip hamburgers or do nothing like that. Exactly. So, I mean, why, why hire somebody that's, that's not going to do the marketing, you know? That's just stupid, you know? You gotta... Exactly. Like we, like we talked about in the beginning, you know, focus on the ready. You know, don't focus on... If you focus on the, on the lazy people, and this is why a lot of people, they don't get the results that they're, good, that, that they're looking for. Because they are focusing on their lazy people. And they're 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 talking to the grown people, and let's and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you keep talking to this, like, see, and I'm gonna be like real honest. I mean, it's, even if it's only forty dollars, you know, a lot of people they don't have forty dollars, you know. And like Jonathan was telling me, he already has an strategy, you know, how to you know come up, you know, how to be able, you know, to uh, to help the people how to come up with the money. But in my case, when it comes when people that don't have money, I don't focus on that type of people. Why don't I focus on those type of people? Because if they don't, if they don't, if they can come up with forty dollars themselves, then that means that they don't want it bad enough. Okay, guys, this is. And I'm gonna be real honest, guys. I come from Mexico, right? And as you can hear my accent, we are in America. There is there is endless possibilities to be making money. If someone don't have forty dollars to their name, that just means because they're lazy. And you don't want to be working with those, those type of people because you're gonna have to push them around. You're gonna have to micromanage them. You don't want to do that. I'm being honest. You don't want to do that. You don't want to sign up people that they're not ready. You don't want to sign up people that they don't. They're not gonna do the job. You know. You don't want to sign up the people because they're gonna be on your phone 24/7 asking you questions. And this is and we're doing this business online, so we could have more time for ourselves. Okay, guys. Like me personally, I didn't even have to make this training right here. Or me and Jonathan, we don't have you know to make any training. Why? Because the training is already created. But we're taking ourselves in our time, you know, to put this together for everybody because this is recording. So people could really, you know, see that we are real persons. We are real here to help you out. But we're not going to be here, you know, to like micromanage you. I'm not your boss. I'm your business partner. I'm your sponsor. I'm your mentor. I'm your coach. Whatever you want to call me, I'm your friend. I'm here to help you out. I'm not here to do the job for you. Yep, basically, okay. we're here to give you the training and hope to put it in action. Because if you don't put it in action, you'll never see results. Mm -hmm. You know, we can only do so much. Exactly, guys. Like you know, we're we're only you know two people. You know, trying to like get a whole team together. <clears throat> Before I go to work, if I'm in Siberia, says we can get a phone number to not use. Oh, okay, with that, with the phone number, um, I have an app. An app is called um. See, I'm telling you, like all these people, hold up. The app is called. You talking about like a free phone number? Yeah. Yeah, I use I use something similar to that too. It's called Tone. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but but you can download. It gives you a free number. You can call people. Okay, so the app that I use is is called Text Free. Text. Free boys. I don't remember the name. I'm a, I'll, I'll look it up. But if you don't want to put your your personal number, I mean, at the end of the day, to be honest with you, you don't even need a personal number if you don't want to. But I mean, uh, if you are gonna be getting on phone calls, because a lot of people they don't get on phone calls, but like Jonathan does. So you know, that's the best person you know to reach out when it comes to phone calls. But yeah, uh, I, I use this app. 
they get almost every day I'm on a on the phone doing about a hundred calls. I say out of every hundred I get about five five people, you know, sign up. And it's just so I got a script. If you guys are interested in the script, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and post it for you guys, too. Just uh, message me on Facebook or whatever. Okay, y'all. Uh, Chaos, uh, do they take anything? Um, okay, well, we're going to still record this, Karen. Thank you for being here. I know you have to get back to work. So you have any more, any more questions, I'm going to send you... Um, I'm gonna send you all the tra all the, the the link of the training, you know, because everybody's gonna have it. We're gonna post it on the group. And okay, to um to 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 answer your question, you know, it's waiting a week to get paid. Call lazy to even start. No, it's not. When people are being serious, and you're gonna notice when people are being serious, they're gonna tell you, "I'm serious." You know, like give me a week, I'm gonna get paid, and then I sign up. You know, that means that that doesn't mean that they're lazy. That just means that you know they don't have the money just yet. Yeah, you, okay. you don't ever want to rush somebody. Exactly. Like, with, they're going to sign up with me in a week or so. I'll be like, okay, just let me know when you're ready. Exactly. And, and yeah. yeah, you know, you just got to push her. Because the more, the so more you I, rush, the yeah. more you rush people, the more it sounds like you're scamming them. You don't want to, you don't want to sound like you're scamming them. You just want to, you want to sign them up for an opportunity. You know, you don't, you don't want to sign them up right there if they don't got the money. I mean, there are ways where you can go about helping them where they can get the money. Like, say, for instance, a person doesn't have a bank account. Um, they could join up for uh, NetSpend, and if they use uh, uh, the bank account routing number uh, and deposit $40, they get a NetSpend will bonus the bonus of $20, and that way they can sign up for uh, uh, MCA for 20 bucks, basically. But just loading uh, uh, 40 bucks into a Nesbitt account, getting a free 20, and then using that uh, bonus of 20 and signing up for uh, MCA. That's one yeah, way that, I help people who have money. That's, like the, that, that's one of the best ways to do it, honestly, when it comes to the Nesbitt, man. It really I'm glad that you I'm, I'm glad that you share it because... It does really help with people who don't have a bank account and want to join. Like, I, I come from Detroit, and uh, right now I live in Newport. So uh, yeah, I get a lot of a lot of poor people who you know uh, have bad credit and uh, still want to make money, right. and they like, oh, how, I want to join, but how, I don't have a bank account. So that's when I uh, I give them my Netspend account, uh, and that gets them in there, and that actually helps build trust too, because once they see that Netspend works, then uh, then they'll believe me and, and join under MCA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you really think about it, man, it's like, uh, like you say with the Nespen, is that so they sign up with Nespen, they get twenty, you you get twenty dollars for that, and then on top of that is that like, if they tell you well, I don't have the money for it, if you have an extra twenty dollars, what I would do, me personally, I would be like, you know what, man, I put those forty dollars in your bank account right now. Yeah, and you gotta promise you're gonna sign up. For Sometimes I send my twenty to them, that way they give me a free ride in. So it's really, it's really great. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's just giving people solutions, man. Like to be honest with you, just giving people solutions, you know. But like, uh, like that's why I like connecting with Jonathan because, like that guy right there that you're I'm seeing always, right now. I'm the, always the trying to save people, you know, any way possible, especially when it, you know, a lot of people don't want to go out of pocket and spend the forty. You know, I'm always looking for new ways to, you know, save them money so that way they can just try out the program. You know, that's how I that's how I get most of my sales just by being honest and. And uh, and telling people about different opportunities. Yep, one hundred percent. We have Tyson that joined the call. We are about to. Yeah, he left though. Well, um, one Kate, thing about that is that you don't want to use the prepaid card. Um, they give you a bank account, a routing number, and you want when you sign up for MCA, you will have you want to sign up using that bank account, a routing number, and then you will have to call MCA and confirm your payment. And uh, once you do that, you still get paid the eighty. Yep, one hundred percent. Well, okay. Do you have any? Do you have any other questions, bro? Um, or like, are are you, are you comfortable? You know, with with this call, or like, you wanna? Because I mean, right now it's just pretty much the only person that is that is uh, training is you. I mean, we pretty much already cover how how to start off strong. You know, when it comes to uh, so in summary, we cover, you know, how to close people. 
Um, we cover, you know, how to give you know, the uh, you can tell you everything you, you can do to get, you know, close sales. Um, you know, just post, post every day. Uh, share your little lifestyle experience. Sometimes, uh, you know, even get with your family members. Uh, the more people you uh, communicate with, the uh, the better it is for you, uh, you guys. You know, um, that's. Like no, you can't do you can't do this business by yourself. It it really does require teamwork, yeah. and it, and it it requires people liking each other's statuses and and helping each other out, commenting and building each other. That's that's the only way you can do this. If you want to be successful in this business, it takes teamwork. And I know from like past leaders and stuff like that, we didn't really see that type of that leadership. You know that teamwork. Mm -hmm. But this business really does require teamwork. Yeah, so so he just ask uh he asked uh, how how to get more like how I guess how to get more traffic, right Kai? Is what you meant? Yeah. Okay, so I mean it's really like we say, you know, don't just don't focus on Facebook. You could just um one really one one catchy way to like to get people interested is like I would wake up every single morning like before. And I'd be like, man, I just woke up, you know, with an extra eighty dollars, or I just woke up with an extra a hundred. It's not lying to people as long as you know, and as long as you affirm it, you know, that you are gonna get those two people that day. You know what I mean? Because you don't wanna be lying, uh, you know, at the end of the day. But uh, one way that I use, me personally, is uh, posting on Facebook groups helps a lot. It's been getting me a lot of uh, results. You just gotta like really know. To have no, it's been a week. You gotta frustrate a lot. You don't want to get frustrated, man. Honestly, uh, this is a business. You know, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. But uh, when it comes to posting in groups, um, if you want, if you have a smartphone, what you want to do is uh, download this uh, this app. It's called Groups on Facebook. So download it. Uh, download it in your in your phone. It's called Groups on Facebook. I don't know. If you can see. I don't know if it's showing. Um, hold up. It's not showing. It's okay. So it's that one right there. Can you see? Okay. Kind of. Okay. Well, look. It's just like it's called groups on Facebook, and it's like the the uh, the the little the, the little icon is really uh, simple. It's just like three little people, you know, with some little uh, like that. And what you wanna do? You wanna you wanna find um. Work from home, work from home uh, groups, and you know probably uh from your uh, from your state, whatever state you are, you know look for like uh like I'm in Las Vegas, so I would look like Las Vegas jobs or something like that, and just just start adding myself to groups and just create a, a really um a really cool ad. You know, don't talk about. I mean, I don't like to talk about you know the money part. You know, I would just be like, uh, good evening, good evening, everybody. Keep it better. Yeah, you know, like keep it as professional. Like you know, good evening. You know, my name is uh, not not even say your name. You know, good evening. You know, um, I'm I'm like what I what I say is uh, what I say is uh, I say good evening. Um, I'm 22 years old. You know, and I've been able to you know to work from home. You know, for over a year. You know, if you want more info, you know, comment, like, and you know, um, or or like uh, or send me send me a friend request. You know, it's something simple. You know, so people actually go and hit you up. And that's, you don't like, like I said, you don't want to give them too much information. I mean, I'm just, like, see, me personally, I don't I don't talk about the company at all. I'm more about when it comes to mystery sales, when people, you know, they wonder, oh, what, I'm, what, I, what is that I'm doing? And, you know, they keep, like, they, they just like, okay, so I know he's in a, I know he's in a company, but what is he doing? And another thing that I do to get, to, to, to get people to, um, to sign up before, it used to be capture pages. And that's something a little bit more advanced when it comes to uh, knowing when it comes to online marketing. So capture page where it really is is a page where they have to put their email and their name, and then you know you just send them an autoresponder. Which I mean, uh, I mean another service, but I, I don't want to talk about that because uh, we're we're focusing on uh, MCA training. But uh, you know if you uh, if you ever want to know about it, you know you could hit me up or something. But anyway, um, so when it comes to strategies, you know people start you know hitting you up. You know, you start getting messages, and like I say, you know, once you once you get the messages, bro, you take authority on the whole conversation. 
Okay, you literally take authority in the whole conversation. Like we already talked about that. Okay, so that's what I use. I use Facebook groups. Um, I use videos. I make a lot of videos. I don't ever talk about the company. Um, but I do talk about like I give them a call to action. You know, as you can say, like I will make a video. You know, talking about motivation. And you know, at the end of the video, I would probably say, you know, um, you know, hit me up, or you know, like uh. Well, like before, right? I would be like, you know, you wanna, you wanna learn how to make this type of money, you know, let, let me know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or like, you just, just give them a really cool call to action that people really go and hit you up. And um, Jonathan knows how to do it like very well. Yeah. He's really good when it comes to like people hitting him up. Basically, there's all types of groups you can join on Facebook, like uh, uh, work from home moms, uh, um. Uh, convicted felonies, looking for jobs, yeah. different, you know, all, just type it in. If you were to go on Facebook right now and go up to the top where it says little search bar, just type in work for home jobs and there will be a bunch of groups you can join. Um, and uh, to my experience, when you post in those groups, the shorter it is, the better. Like, uh, for example, you would post something like, hi, I, I'm a Motor Club of America associate. Uh, looking for other associates, wanting to make uh, $160 to $1,000 a week. If you're interested, uh, message me. Something like that. And uh, it gets people's attention, and uh, sometimes my inbox gets flooded. Like, there's not a day where I don't get about 15 to 30 messages. Yes, sir. Yeah, and once, and once you get the It's also important to have good stuff on your profile, too. Like flashy money, you know. When people see you have money and see nice stuff, then of course they're gonna they're gonna uh, you know message you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like I said, you just gotta show people like what's possible, you know. And then um, I mean, a lot of people like uh, once once they're ready. No, you enjoy should... the average person. You know, that's that's just that's just you know it. And nobody likes average. Yeah. That's... Yeah, and then um, I mean the main. Main thing to be honest with you, if you wanna if you just wanna promote on Facebook is image. Image has to do with a lot of everything, man. Even if you even if you don't have a nice car right now, or even you don't live in like a like in a nice city or something, bro. Like what I would do is uh I would go like around a nice park, and if you sign if you find like a nice car or something, you know, start taking pictures with it. You know, just so if you like you know standing by the car. Well, I, first you know, it, I had know. nobody at all. I had to basically. Uh, uh, borrow the uh, forty dollars from my dad to start, and uh, I only had about five dollars. And I took that five dollars, went to the dollar store, got me some sticky notes, and just went to every parking lot there is in my neighborhood, and just basically put them on every car with my website. And it got word out there; and people signed up. That's that's how I that's how I started. Huh. Yep. Just get my website out there. Yeah, so like we say, so strategies, I would use, uh, I mean, like I said, we're going to start coming out with more, yeah. with more training for you guys. Okay. Like Instagram training, uh, YouTube, uh, branding, um, Craigslist, you know, how to really post it on Craigslist. And, um, you know, probably, I don't I don't think Twitter, I mean, I want to learn how to, how to market on Twitter because I know there's like, the, the market is wide open right there. So it would be a really cool stuff to do. Bro, yeah, man. So yeah, with the custom strategies right now, what I focus on, me is on Facebook groups. Um, I'm gonna start doing fan pages, and um, once I start getting results with the fan pages, I'm gonna make a whole training for everybody as well, so you guys really know how to um, how to really boost your, your your pages without really spending so much money. I mean, probably like uh, like three dollar ads, and like I still get like 40, 50 messages. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Let me get this phone here. Well, I think Any other questions? Are you guys going to be the answer? Or? I can't hear you. What? I have to go get my fiance at work. Oh, you have to go get your fiance at work? Yeah, are you guys still going to be on and doing this? Or are you guys getting. No, we're, we're, we're pretty much done right now. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much done. I'm going to record this, so you know, um, if you didn't, uh, if you want, you need to go back to something, you know, you could just go back to it. I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna put it on the group so you uh, you have access to it. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. I learned a lot tonight. All right, bye guys. Awesome. Yeah.
All right, brother. All right. Good call, man. See you, man. <laughs> Bye. Good kill you, brother. Let's get it. All right. Keep up the good work, everybody. Yeah. Right, let's get it. Bye. Bye.